Okay, class, pardon me. We were having a small glitch of the internet. Okay, so let's move on to the next slide. So here's the course content. Let me share you. Course content here. Can you see a word file here? No, it just says course content, sir. Okay. Then I would share you the screen. So I shared my screen with you. Here we go. Can you see now? Yes, sir. Okay. So so this is our course content. I have included the, the policy as well. And remember, we would be having our preferred textbook. So we would be following managerial accounting by Robbins, Stephen uh, P. And the second one is managerial accounting by Garrison, Noreen and Brewer. So remember, you need to follow the 70% rule. Please do not, uh, where is that one? It should be here, which is the most important part. Here, so students must maintain 70% attendance. So if you are absent and you ask for leave, so leave doesn't count for class participation marks, okay? It may save you here to appear on the final exam, but that doesn't mean that you are absent from the class and you expect that to be, you know, graded on the basis of because you applied for leave, okay? So all your assignments, all your exam must be sent to me either uh, WeChat by private message or through my email I have. So my preferred email would be the Hotmail one, okay? because I'm out of country, sometimes this Chinese domain, yeah, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. Okay, so I would be sharing this uh, course uh, content document with you as well. So I would be maintaining both platform parallelly, WeChat platform and Blackboard. So remember the shortcoming of, uh, you know, WeChat that if I send the file, please download it. Otherwise, after some time, it will expire. So please, whenever I send you the PPTs, the material, the links, please save them. Okay. Back to our slide. Here we go. So. Let's start. Here we go. So I would be sending you all the material. So we would be following, uh, you know, the major accounting, both Stephen P. Robbins and the managerial accounting by Garrison, Noreen, and Freeberg. Okay, now the real discussion. So you are in your final year of Tongpa uh, University, CIP Tongpa University, in your final bachelor program. Why you are studying this course? Essentially, I'm talking about why there's a need for managerial accounting for you to study. Can you participate? Harry, Namesh? Yes, sir. So why there is a need? Can you comment on that? 
Um, Harry? Harry, can you hear us? Yes, yeah, sorry. Um, what's the question, sorry? Why there's a need to study managerial accounting when you are in your final year? Why there's a need to study managerial accounting even though your major is international trade, not accounting? So why there's a need to study this one? What do you think about that? Probably because we're about to start work uh, and there's some useful things in this course. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's put this question in different perspective. Why CIP included this course in, the, in their bachelor program? Remember, you are graduated and after some time you will be on a managerial position, right? When you are on a managerial position, then the foremost decision that for most important tasks that you would, you would be doing, making decisions, right? Even if you are running your own business, your family business, starting a new, you know, venture, being an entrepreneur, or go to the job, you would be making decisions after some time because you are a, you have a degree, university degree, right? So for the same purposes, there is a need at least for you to have some basic accounting knowledge so that it will help you to decide better. Even if you don't wanna be on the accounting side, you wanna be a manager for marketing manager, you wanna be a manager for HR manager, or you wanna be, uh, you know, you can say that this is my family business. I don't need any accounting stuff there. I'm managing myself, but why do I need to study this managerial accounting? What's special in that, right? So the answer to this question is that even if you are not a managerial accountant or accounting manager, even then this is very useful for you. It helps you to decide some of the key factors which are used by both the HR department, marketing department, the other operations department as well. How? how much product we need to produce, at what cost, right? And if we want to increase the profit, how much we need to make and sell, how much we need to pump money in our marketing department so that they can gather more orders. So see, these you know, functions, finance department, HR department, and the marketing department is, is, is basically linked together. So for being a manager, when you decide, right? So you must have at least basic knowledge for this managerial accounting stuff. And remember, managerial accounting is totally different than financial accounting. It's not about like you are doing some entries, debit, credit, no. It is something else. The other name of this managerial accounting is cost accounting. You are dealing with the cost, right? You are saying that, okay, if I hire this person, would it increase my cost or decrease my cost? Right? If I book too much orders, whether my profit will increase or decrease, we talk about in, 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 in economics, even though you are selling more, your sales are rising, but your profit is going down. We talked about over there, the press profit maximization condition, MC is equal to MR, right? If you recall that, right? So, so that doesn't mean that you, if you are selling more, you are getting more profit, no. So the marketing function must be limited to where, where you have a maximum profit. 
and you, you need to produce that much quantity which satisfy your orders and your orders are that much which maximize your profit. So every department is linked. You need to hire those people, those who are producing the you know, maximum profit quantity. So that's why it is important for you to learn this one. Plus, I have a very small video. It will further clarify your concept. Here we go. So let's watch this. Purpose of luck. A bunch of organizations which began in the 19th century. Many of these organizations, such as textile mills, grew by combining multiple production processes under one roof. Managerial accounting allowed managers to compare the cost of a process inside the firm versus purchasing the process from another firm. In the 1900s, Andrew Carnegie, founder of U.S. Steel, devised a cost system that reported detailed unit cost figures for material and labor on a daily and weekly basis. The system gave senior management tight controls on operations, as well as timely information on marginal costs for pricing decisions. Other icons of American industry were also active in developing performance measures. As the nation's industrial base grew, managerial accounting continued to develop, primarily influenced by taxes and financial accounting requirements. But things began changing dramatically in the last quarter of the century. Rapid advances in technology and global competition transformed organizations and profit managers to question whether traditional management accounting procedures were still appropriate. In addition to applying and managing new technology, corporations also had to place new emphasis on quality. In the 1970s and 80s, as reliable, reasonably priced Japanese products began to take significant market share from American manufacturers, it was clear that the consumer put a high priority on quality. American manufacturers were forced to make quality job one. They began to adopt Japanese management practices, which ironically were introduced to Japan by an American, Walter Deming. Manufacturers, merchandise. Okay, so did you get the idea? Yes, sir. Did you get the idea that how in this dynamic business environment which changed from management One point zero to two point zero. So this is managerial. So, so this is a management term. Management one point zero means that previously factories were running <clears throat> with traditional method. You know, you need you need to come to the uh, production process. Same, you know, wear gloves and go to the you know production department and just produce and that's it. But now the management two point zero means in which in, in management one point zero. So the worker.